It's a horrible day in the mask pit. Hey everyone, Nick down here in the mask pit, and I'm going to give a very simple uh, tutorial about basic camera photography, about how to photograph your mask with just a camera phone. Yes, just a camera phone. You see my uh, camera phone set up right there? It's the iPhone 13. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, I'm going to show you uh, how to take a pretty good picture with using that phone there. And I'm not going to whiz by it like all these. Did you ever see these computer whiz kids that you want to find out how to do something? Or they're like, click, 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 click. I've got to watch the freaking video like 20 times and freeze frame it to see what they're doing. I'm going to try to go <laughs> at a pace where everybody can understand it. Now, I've got my iPhone set up right here. It is on the portrait setting. Let me see if I can get my uh, iPhone in focus here since that's the main thing it's not the uh, it's not the 13 mask Maybe if I move that so we have this on the uh, portrait setting and you see all these little things with, oh, with natural light and this and that now the portrait setting is good because if I had if I didn't have this black background and the reason I'm using the black background one of the most iconic things, the mask is iconic, but also the hair of a Michael Myers mask is just as iconic. And you want to have all these beautiful contours and fuzzy things sticking up here because that's just what makes Michael Myers, Michael Myers. Now I have a, back, a black backdrop just so that it's not so busy in the back here and so that you can pick all this up. Now if I didn't have this backdrop, all of this, <laughs> all of this mess would be in the background, and what if I use the portrait setting, uh, it will blur all of this out and make it not so busy, and so that you can appreciate the uh, the hair. But to really appreciate the hair, try to get a plain background. Okay, so we have our portrait setting, and you can see here now. I have only this is what I have one fluorescent light bar overhead and it's about a foot in front of the mask itself and you can play around with your with your mask the, the further back from the light the less dramatic your shadows are going to be the further forward you put it the more dramatic your shadows are going to be so you can play around with it. All right, now we have our uh, portrait setting here, and you'll see a arrow up here. The arrow, I don't usually use these settings here. You have studio light, contour light, stage light. I don't usually use those. I leave it on natural light. Now the fluorescent lighting to do with lighting masks, there's something called white balance on a lot of cameras. And uh, the iPhone doesn't really have a white balance. So we're going to go into, um, we're going to press that little arrow, and it's going to bring these little uh, icons down here. And for one thing, you get the plus minus icon, and that's to uh, darken or lighten your picture. You can see we go dark or light. So I'm going to bring this down just a little bit past the uh, past the middle tone here's the middle tone right here I'm gonna bring it down to about there yeah and also I am going to I'm gonna go back into there I'm going to take the um, now these are the different uh, Kind of like white balances. You have your original. You can warm up the pic picture to give it more of a brown tone. You can do a vivid cool. The vivid cool is what I want. Now, when we go to the, well, let's go through these other ones too. There's dramatic, dramatic warm, dramatic cool, 
mono. These are all shades of black and white. You can see all the different looks that you can get. So I'm going to go with, um, I think I'm just going to go with vivid, cool. And this is going to give your mask more of a white color, even though it looks purple <laughs> on, the, uh, <sighs> on the camera here. Uh, gonna, it, it is white on, on, my, um, on my iPhone. Uh, that's because my camera is not quite picking up the right white balance to do with the phone. But we're not going to worry about that. So we have Vivid Cool. And it's kind of, it's kind of uh, overexposed still. So we're going to go back into our uh, just darkening the picture a little bit more. That's a little too dark. Maybe right about there. Yeah. Let me straighten my camera out. Okay. And uh, basically, that looks pretty good from what I'm looking at. So I'm just going to uh, take a picture. And I, I always take more than one picture. Uh, I'm going to... Um, to darken it down a little bit more and take another picture just so I can compare it and then I'll pick the best ones that I like okay so now we have our picture and we're going to take it into uh, this is our picture that we just took it's into our um, photo album right now and we're going to do a little edit now that looks pretty good just the way it is I really like it just the way it is. But we're going to go to edit. And you're going to see all these little icons down here. Um, this too. We can go into the uh, the vivid cool, the dramatic, dramatic warm. And we can even add that again. But I'm going to just go with the um, the vivid cool. And I, one thing I just want to do is kind of sharpen up the details. So I am going to touch that. And we're going to get all these little things that you can do. The exposure, the brilliance, the highlights. And you can see all how you can play around with it. With the highlights. I, that's one of my favorite features. Um, shadows. You can darken or lighten the shadows. The contrast is a nice one. You can do the 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 higher contrast. The more the more attitude you're going to bring out in your mask. If I wanted to really, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna boost the contrast up just a hair to really bring out the uh, the uh, the features. And then of course you got the brightness, the black point, color saturation, vibrance, which are pretty much the same warmth and what I want to get to is the sharpness and I'm going to up the sharpness about 50 percent and then I'm going to click done and here is my finished picture And you can see the detail that you can bring out. It's razor, razor sharp. And there's that famous uh, H4 cover picture right there. Now if we want to bring up our contrast, we'll go back into edit. And uh, let's see, we'll do the little clock down here we're going to lighten it up a little bit so we're back into our menu down here and uh, what we're going to do we've got our shadows we're going to bring our shadows up a little bit and then we're going to go to our uh, let me try to find contrast there's contrast we're going to bring our contrast up just like that 
And let's see, what else can we do? We actually don't have to do a whole lot more. Let's just see how that looks now. There we go, look at that. We've got all of our detail, very, very bold features. And you can see where the, because we're using the portrait setting, it's blurring the little fuzzy tips of the hair at the end there, just giving it a, a kind of weird, kind of <laughs> dramatic look. But basically, that's all there is to it using an iPhone. Play with your iPhone, use the settings, and uh, you'll take some great pictures. have it so let's do a quick recap now kids what have we learned today about photographing your Michael Myers mask number one keep your camera back at least four to five feet mm-hmm uh, do not photograph your mask with direct light hitting it because it's just going to wash it out and it's not going to look very good overhead light mm-hmm and one thing that I have to address, no shooting masks with iPhone in the reverse image. Like if you want to do a selfie, you've got to look at yourself and everything's backwards on, on the screen. And you know why? Because human faces are more or less symmetrical. The left is the same as the right. Michael Myers was not blessed <laughs> with such attributes. His face is different. The left side is different than the right side. So when you shoot a Michael Myers mask in reverse, let's uh, let me I'm gonna post a picture right now. Michael Myers tends to look like <laughs> like that. All right. So do not shoot your Michael Myers masks in reverse mode. Sometimes I have people posting pictures of uh, my masks where they take it in a mirror. Uh, don't take masks in a mirror because that puts it in the reverse mode. And the person looks fine, but the mask looks all wonky. And it's, it's like people are looking. And most people, they don't know what's going on. The general public does not know what's going on. Why masks look so terrible sometimes. And so I'm trying to educate people. Please! to do your homework and f show your masks as beautiful as they truly are. Now this mask is a whole different uh, in a whole different ballpark. This is the Artisan 13 mask. Now this is actually better in direct light. Why you say? I'm going to tell you why. Because all of the, let me get my picture down from here, all of the shadows and highlights are painted directly onto the mask to replicate the H4 cover picture. So all the shadows, highlights, no matter where you put this mask in a room, it's going to look good because all the shadows are there. You don't have to rely on a light or a lamp or overhead lighting or under lighting. But you still can't shoot this mask in reverse because he'll, he'll still look like that. <laughs> Uh, okay, so that's all i got to say. Let me do a little update on my YouTube channel since I monetized it to make some of this. All right. Now, since my last video, I think of a week or two ago, I think that was the, um, um, the Hollywood bust overhaul. Now, that video is just doing teeter-totter okay. It's not doing as good as the H2 uh, overhaul. Um, the H2 overhaul to date has made twelve dollars it's coming it's coming <laughs> the hollywood overhaul video um i think has made six dollars 
but to be fair, it's it's uh, it, it it's it hasn't had the time frame. It's 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 a week younger than the H2 video, or maybe three weeks. But when you get into vi um, YouTube, the analytics they give you a chart, and the Hollywood uh, bust. Overhaul video is underperforming my other videos. Sad to say, but it is. So give it a click at the end. I'm going to put the uh, end screen up, and, and you'll be able to click on it. So give it a click and give it a watch and give it a little boost if you if you want to help me out a little bit. Um, and the uh, yeah the H2 overhaul video, the Deluxe Tots H2 video, has made twelve dollars and sixty one cents today. Mm -hmm. And my overall. YouTube channel, since I monetized it, it's been probably, I'm going to say about six weeks now, has made about $50. So, just to keep everybody informed of the riches that are coming to me left and right from monetizing my YouTube channel. Okay, so I'm going to uh, cut out of here. Look for more stuff coming, people. I got some more stuff coming. Uh, let me give a quick... Uh, Shout out to Jimmy Falco here because I will be working on his. Um, so I'll be doing a uh, full video on the uh, Jimmy Falco's 3DK. Mm -hmm, that's coming up, and uh, some more good stuff. And I'll also be uploading things, uh, different topics and subjects, uh, just to keep things diversified. And so I have something to upload. Okay, so I hope everybody, thanks for the ability keep those comments and those likes and those shares and those subscriptions coming, people. I do appreciate it. You're doing an awesome job. I can see my analytics going up, and it's because of you. So thank you very much. And I hope everybody has a horrible day. It's a horrible day in the mask pit. A horrible day in the mask pit. It, it's so creepy and so uh, spooky. <laughs>